Hey folks, this is Amy. I just wanted to touch base about chapter five. Um, and I think I've gotten to the bottom of the issues today and work through the chapter again to see where I can troubleshoot. I'm a little disgusted because I made this video already once, but it, my computer crashed. So here I am again. I'm going to try to stay positive here. Um, but I believe the reason that we're having so many issues with the merge feature of this one is because some of you are probably on 2016. So I found a workaround for that. I'm going to talk through this chapter real quick um, uh, because YouTube only likes about a 10 minute video. So we're going to get started here on chapter 5. And if you look on page 275, that's going to be your finished product. As you start this here, you're going to look at the Mayans um, PowerPoint that I have open here. And the power of this is to collaborate and make comments and do these types of things. But again, just like everything in Microsoft, there's about a gazillion ways to do this. So I'm going to talk you through the big picture items and then we'll move forward there. You want to make sure that you have the review feature on, um, and that's going to be this one here. We're going to click compare, and we are going to start on um, now the top of page 78. You're going to compare this with the Mayans Doug, and this save button will turn into merge, and we'll click that. And now we're going to merge these together. There's a few things here that I want you to see on the screen. This ribbon here will bounce you through the comments and those different types of things. I want to show comments so you can see here this is what we're looking at. Doug has made some comments here. You can reply to them. That to me is not as important but we want to bring in some of these where he's we're going to click on this theme here and we're going to incorporate that and these are more of the um, not the comments, but the uh, changes that he's made. So you can click here between slides and details. And again, we need to click this for the chapter. And then we're going to come into this one over here as well. And we're going to select all of these. And this is where those three other slides come in. Now, if you're running 2016, you are going to have issues there. And the only way that I really know how to get around that would be to open up the Doug PowerPoint itself and to copy and paste those slides in. And again, it's not fabulous, but it's the best thing that I can do for right now. The other thing that you can do when you do this, if you don't want to use copy and paste, one of the features later on in the chapter is using the home ribbon and you go to the new slide and you're going to reuse some slides. So in this technique, you're going to close these comments and revisions and I'm going to cruise a little bit further through the chapter because making those comments and following those instructions is pretty simple I feel and I think you'll do okay with that but where it starts to get tricky in this part is on page 295 so again we've gone to new slides we've gone to reuse slides this is opened up and now I'm going to browse to find that file and I'm actually going to use the arches file from my data file folder here and it's this one right here and now what you can do um, you want to uncheck this keep source formatting because otherwise it won't match the formatting theme that we have here it will keep this gray in here so we're going to bring this one in after slide three and you just click this and it comes in then you're going to bring in this next one and it comes in and that's some of that formatting that you need to do. And again, you can keep the the formatting or you don't need to keep the formatting. On this one, I think you're supposed to. So I'm going to delete the slide and I'm going to put that there. And this one, I'm going to keep this, the formatting and bring that in. So that's that piece of the puzzle. The other thing that you need as well is to have the arches one open because we're going to pull some information here using a technique very similar to the snipping tool. So here's the Mayans. Um, we're coming into slide two. And again, I did not keep his comments. So I'm going to do that. Ooh, and I'm going to, is it? this one it's this one 
And so this is here, what they want you to do is bring in the piece of clip art from this slide three where it says Mexico. So what you do is you have that slide open and you are going to go to insert and this technique is starting on page 299. You're going to go to screenshot. You're going to come down to the screen clipping. Again, your slide will gray out like the snip tool. And you just go like that. And then you come here and you move it. The rest of the chapter is designed to input the footer. Um, you're also going to modify how you save this so people that don't have PowerPoint can open it and get to that software, exporting it and those different things. I think you'll be fine with that part. Um, uh, that was straight through with that. If not, do the best you can. Um, then where we had another little snafu issue was at the end of the chapter on page 318. When you do put this into slideshow, so I'm going to put it in here on slide one. I'm going to come right down here to the slideshow. And on the bottom of page 318, um, you should get like some pencils and highlighters and those different types of things. And I didn't. So what I had to do is right click on the slide. I had to come here to pointer options and then highlight and my ink color and go that way. And that's okay. What I do want to tell you, I'm going to escape out of this, is that if you're having issues, just let me know. And if Sam's marking it wrong, let me know because I'm flexible. This needs to look like the book as close as you can get it, depending on your software. But again, the goal of this class is to get you comfortable with this software and for you to manipulate it and find those workarounds like the copy and paste and this reuse slide. So those are the tips and tricks I have for you. Um, again, thank you for your patience and I hope this helps today. Have a great night.